Now we're going to go over how to actually take one of these tests. So again, I navigated to the main training workspace. Now I'm going to choose which test I want to take. So the test we just created, I went ahead and clicked on it. It's telling me some information about this test, any past results. Then you have the option to delete the test, uh, close it, and also take it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit take this test. And then a panel will pop up that has all of the excerpts one by one that you can cycle through and apply the appropriate codes to. To apply the codes, you can double click them or click and drag, just like you would when you were coding the main document. Then you have the options to hit next, quit, or finish. So in this case, I'm gonna cycle through to the next excerpt. Then you'll see you'll also have the option to move backwards if you need to. And then when you're done cycling through all of the excerpts, you can click finish. And then it's going to ask you if you're sure you want to complete this test and see the results and you can hit yes. And now you have the opportunity to view the results and also some more detailed information about Cohen's Kappa statistic. Um, we recommend reading up on this um, because it is a more complex statistical test. And we recommend using this as a tool. So this is a tool to use iteratively in your analysis and your coding process. So not an end all be all score, but more of a talking point and a test you can use to gauge where you and your team are definitely having a high level of agreement, such as this code of immoral, or very low level of agreement, such as this code social debate. So as a team, we would want to come together, review these excerpts on social debate, and have more clarity around this code definition, how each person is interpreting it, and how we should move forward when coding for that item. And what's great about this test is that you can actually cycle through on those excerpts and see where you agreed and disagreed and who was coding which excerpt with which code. So to do that, you could export the report if you chose to, or you can choose view code applications. And this will take you through and show you which codes were being applied by the trainee in this case, and which were the trainer or the PI on the project. You can also quickly sort your codes by your level of agreement or disagreement by hovering over the column and clicking the agree, disagree, or the Kappa score, if you want to quickly compare and go down the list. So now that we're all done with this test, I can close out. You can always retake these tests or create a new test in the future. So if I wanted to go back into this test, I can see those past results and I can take it again.